peace will reign in Red Rock Valley. It's been all of five years, Tex, since you hung those guns up there. Seems like only yesterday when you were sheriff of Red Rock. And now you'll probably move out of your law office and be the next territorial governor. Yes, sir? For years, we've had peace and prosperity. Ever since Tex here captured the Kern boys and sent them to prison. We're not behind bars now. We're here. Keep your hands on top of the table, all of you. You took these guns away from us once. Now we're taking them away from you. You're going to cash in, Texane. And so is everybody else around here that don't do what we say. From now on, we're ruling. By right of might. I'm afraid you're wrong. It's you, Homer. I'm the pigeon there after. Well, fine, Pan, but they kind of miss you. Uh, Dave, I want you to meet, uh, Tex. Oh, Tex Haynes, by golly, I'm glad to see you. Hey, some of the models coming this way. Hey, what's that? Homer. Homer? Mm-hmm. Homer's panhandles carry a pigeon. You see, Panhandle works for this telegraph company. Belongs to Jane Deering. Or did belong to her before the Kern boys took over. Well, if you're working for a telegraph company, what are you packing that thing around for? Hey, looks like a message tied to its foot. Well, it is. That's a call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Panhandle doesn't trust this telegraph contraption he works for. Says it isn't practical. It'll never be a success. That's why he's keeping Homer. Well, that's right. Someday that telegraph's going to break down. Then I'll send this pigeon to the relay station to get help. <laughs> hey, that's my horse heading for the barn. Oh, you want to try to make it? Yeah. 
Out the back way. Where do you think you're going? In that telegraph office. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. That company belongs to me. Not anymore, it don't. Elmer sunk. Let's give him the Texas shot. He must have been mighty tired, Mr. Merrick. He went right to sleep. Yeah. I hope my wife is all right. Here. My husband and I were in town. We got separated. Oh, don't worry. He'll be along soon. Have you seen Tex? Sam Turner was just by and said Tex got captured in town. <laughs> there you are. You can't see nothing, you can't hear nothing, and you can't say nothing. Boy, you'd have been a wiser monkey if you'd have stayed out of here. See, if one of them can know it's in here, it won't be long till we'll have them piled up like cornwood over there. Hey, what do you suppose they're doing with all those prisoners? Same as they did before. The last time the Kern gang took over this town, they grabbed off ranches, cattle, crops, and even gold mines. I spent almost a year working for them in my own mine. Well, I was there when Tex rounded them up. And now they're doing the same thing again. When Barton Rad escaped, I was sent out to bring him in. You've been following them a long way across the country, huh? Yeah. This is the first time I met up with them. Now it's my job to put them back behind bars. I'm a great believer in the strength of unity, Dave. I kind of feel we should handle this thing together. It's a much bigger job than it was the last time when I did it alone. Now look here, Dave. You do like Tex says. It ain't gonna do no good just hanging them guns back on the wall unless we round up every outlaw in this territory. I'm agreed. We'll work together. Fine, that makes four of us. Hey, we're beginning to look like a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we are a crowd, but we ain't big enough to attack that current gang. They're coming in here to bed down their horses. That mountain canary Haynes. I recognize his voice. Let's get it. By the glow of candlelight. All clear? Yeah. Remember Open the door wide. Good luck. Come on. More coming, we can't get out with the horses. What are we gonna do about it? Well, we're not gonna leave them. that won't fool us again. Did you kill him? No. There was nothing but a voice on a wax wheel, so I busted it. Ah. Tex! 
Have you seen my husband? Well, he's safe, Mrs. Merritt. Well, he will be if I can figure some way of getting him out of that barn. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Grab Larkin and the hog tied him in the barn. And knocked off Torin when we drove him out. You know, I had a dead beat on that ranger. And my gun misfired. Who was with him? We got Frank Merritt. We didn't take these guns off the wall for nothing. We'll teach them a lesson. For every one of our boys, we'll get plenty of them. Take a last look at your cabin, Merritt. You won't be seeing it for a long time. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You saw what happened to your husband. He got a bad case of lead poisoning. Caught it from the company he was keeping. And that's what'll happen to the rest of the men around here. Unless you persuade him to tell their men folks to work for us. I'll tell them what to do.
Homer. I sure hope there's some folks at that relay station. trying to talk to you. Hey, I'd send you, Homer, if you could talk, but I'm saving you for a special call for help. I ain't going to get caught in the woods with my socks down. Oh, Jim. As long as you work for me, you men ain't got nothing to worry about. You're going to be well paid. I'm setting up a printing press right now to run off some new territorial money. Now you can climb down. Maybe I pulled out mistakes too soon. See, I saw them Kern boys kill Merritt. They had some others in the wagon. Looked like it was going to meet the same fate. This ain't no use trailing, Dave. This ain't no one man's job. And frankly, I don't know what else we can do. We talk to a lot of ranchers, and they're all scared to death to join us. I don't understand it. The ranchers seem to think the easiest way out is to work with the outlaws. Well, some of the folks refuse to work. Shows everybody has lost their fighting spirit. Maybe not, but when they quit, they lost their bread and butter. Sometimes there are things that are more important than bread and butter. Just what, for instance? The right to think for yourself. Do what you want to do. Now, if the Kern boys had their way, yeah, what? Well, you'd be working for them. And if you tried to quit, they'd shoot you. Yeah, I'm going to get dead here. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> hey. What am I worried about? I ain't working for them. Not yet. What are we going to do, Tex? Our forefathers decided that far some years ago. This is a free country. Where nobody can set themselves up as absolute ruler and force other people to do their bidding. Them is my sentiments exactly. Mine too, Tex. That's what our kinfolks fought for. And so will we. You men are willing to fight for what is right because it's expected of you. That's true. Well, all right, why shouldn't it be true for women? It should. And as our country grows, more and more you'll find men and women marching and fighting side by side. It's been mad. Panhandle has already told us what happened, Mrs. Merritt. I don't suppose there's much we can say, is there? Yes, there is, Tex. With those outlaws roaming the hills, we didn't have much time to say the proper words. Now, I thought maybe you...
My husband's taking the long trail. But we ain't. We're here to help you fight. This will be a start, Mr. Wyatt. Swear us in. Well, I never heard of women rangers. See, I had a pistol pack in Grandma. Ever heard of Joan of Arc? For Molly Fitcher, she did all right with her gun. If men can carry guns, Mr. Wyatt, so can women. You're right, Mrs. Merritt. All right, I'll swear you in. Well, see, uh, when this battle starts, uh, how are we going to know friend from foe? Put them in a ranger outfit. Then there won't be no mistake. Start swearing us in, Mr. Wyatt. By the authority of the territorial governor, I hereby declare created a body of the law to be known as the Territorial Rangers. And by the same act, I herewith administer the oath of loyalty to you citizens who make up this first enlistment. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the law and authority invested in you? I do. I do. Hi, Red. What'd you learn? Well, one of the ranchers that's working with us told me they're having a meeting tonight, but I can't find out where. Oh, do them no good to me. We got most of the men prisoners, and we outnumber the rest of them two to one. Yeah, but they're forming a law enforcement body, and they're going to use a telegraph line. That line won't do them no good. Don't run nowhere except to the mining camp. When we were here before, Rad, we rode pony. The telegraph's quicker. That's why I didn't tear it down. Jane Deering is going to operate it for us. Better bring her in tomorrow. Now, uh, telegraph keys will be established at several of the ranches along the line. You'll all be taught the simple code signal. And when the hour arrives and the call comes through, ride to the relay station between Red Rock and Gold Mountain for final instructions. Many of the citizens are joining up with us, but we're not waiting. We're striking our first blow tonight. Nobody works in the mines at night, so we can go ahead. All of you understand what to do. We know what to do, but some of our friends are held prisoners. Why not release them at the same time? Well, to do that now would cause a lot of them to be killed. Let's follow the original plan. Enough that tonight we keep the outlaws from stealing what belongs to us. When the right time comes, we'll wipe them out. Rogers, you take your men and hit the Lone Rock Mine. And hit it hard. Morgan, you handle the pine tree digging. Randall, you take the Silver Queen. You take over the big four mine. Good luck. We'll take the merit mine. I'll open for ten. Ten and ten better. No gunshots. 
How many cards? I'll take two. I'll play these. Hey, did you hear something? Hear what? Sound like somebody prowling around outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you always manage to throw the game every time I get a pat hand. Now I heard somebody. What they doing over at Lone Rock? Running 24 hours? There ain't nobody working in the mines at night. That didn't sound like shooting down the face of a tunnel to me. Huh. We'd better get a hold of Shade and find out what's going on. Stay with Ms. Merritt for a while. All right. 
Panhandle will be there to look out after you. Dave and I have a little riding to do in the morning. A uh, surprise attack might turn the trick. No harm in trying. Signal for you to gather the ranchers will come over this key. Now, we've hooked up enough ranchers to get word to every man and woman when we need them. And Jane has answered every one of our calls. Tired enough here. Well, what'd I do with my pliers? Miss Mary. Just fine. Learning all about this here wire. All hooked up, huh? Sure thing. Yeah, that's funny. She don't answer. Who don't answer? Jane. Jane? Well, we thought she was here with you. No, she went to the relay station to make sure my messages was coming through. telegraph to call the ranchers together. We brought you here to force their hand. The ranger will call them now and they'll ride right into a trap.
use to hanging around here. We might as well follow the boys. Jane, but there's something wrong. She's having trouble getting her message through. Where is she? I don't know. Smart, ain't you? She's a prisoner at Red Rock. Said not to try to rescue her because it was a trap. We ain't afraid of no traps. This is a showdown. I'll get my group together. Good. I'll signal the ranchers. The boys should be at the relay station now. I'll call them there. and see that he doesn't let me. He won't fix no war while I'm here. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? I'm going to have me some fried pigeon. Oh. I'm hungry. <laughs> I like fried pigeon, too. Oh, I hate to do this to you, to you Homer, but I've got to wring your old neck. George, it ain't going to hurt you much, though. Oh, no, now, ain't that too bad. You got away. You go get the bird, and we'll both have fried pigeon. Yeah, but one pigeon ain't enough for both of us. You ain't very hungry anyway, are you? Well, uh, not very. Of course, Rex, you know, we're just acting on a hunch that something's happened to her. That's a pretty good hunch, don't you think? I'd better clean my frying pan.
it sure takes you a long time to scrub a skillet. Sanitation, my boy, sanitation. Uh, I never heard of it. Now, hurry up. I'm hungry. It might be best to let those outlaws think their plan is working perfectly. tell you, they're waiting for it. Norton, the rancher on the West Ridge got the signal. They're riding for Red Rock. Get most of these horses off the street, Brad. We'll make it look as though we wasn't expecting them. You better place the men so we can pour lead into them from every direction. Oh, come on, that's clean enough. Yep, it sure is. So bright you can see yourself in it. <laughs> you can, can't you? Hey, I'm right pretty, ain't I? Yeah. But you can't see nothing but stars in this one.
peace, bud. Sleep in peace. Well, I'm so She's just a weak female. Uh, she needs a big, strong man like me to take care of her. <laughs> Never a few men try to take over the rights of honest citizens. They always fail. They sure do. Uh, especially if the honest citizens help them along a little with their failing. So long as these two guns hang here, peace will reign in Red Rock Valley. Mm -hmm.